Hello and welcome to Select 10. In this video, we're going to mention some of the top lesser known action films that everyone who enjoys action movies should watch. The list will include a few recent, old, and underrated action movies, while already well-known action films won't be included. Also, we have already covered the new action films of 2022 in one of our earlier action movie videos. And do leave a comment how many films you have seen from this list or intend to see. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. It is an action horror film directed by Timur Bekmambetov. The story follows Abraham Lincoln, whose mother died due to a vampire attack when he was still a young boy. From then on, he pledges justice but fails, almost surviving with his life. Fortunately, Henry, a brilliant vampire slayer, saves Abraham and teaches him how to hunt and kill vampires. Eventually learning and adapting, Abraham keeps up the war against the vampires throughout his life, and at last, as president, he takes a final battle against the supreme vampire enemy when he learns that vampires are plotting to take over the country. The two best things about this movie are its stylish action set pieces, the way it was shot which is truly breathtaking, and the supernatural elements which make the movie a bit more interesting. The two negatives are that there is an uneven balance between the horror, action, and historical elements, as the film focuses more on action, which is both good and bad. Overall, it is a unique action film experience that you won't regret watching, so try this one while keeping only action in mind, and you will enjoy it. Number 9. Peppermint. It is an action thriller film, directed by Pierre Morel. The story follows Riley North, who emerges from a coma following a terrible attack that left her husband and children dead. Already saddened Riley gets more furious when she realizes that the law has let go of the attackers, forcing her to embark on a journey to become a deadly fighter, where she takes matters into her own hands in order to get revenge on those who destroyed her life. She transforms her rage into determination and spends years perfecting her intellect and physique to develop into an untouchable force, but her road to vengeance gets more difficult as she evades the criminal underworld, the police, while exacting her own unique form of justice. Most action films have a conventional or decent plot, and in my opinion, a decent plot is sufficient for a good action entertainer. However, it has a classic revenge story, similar to The Punisher, as here too the main character seeks vengeance. The film appears a little uneven at times, and some of the sequences remind you of many other action movies, but it excels in one area, and that is, it does a fine job of pleasing the audience with its solid action scenes. Number 8. Gangster Squad. It is an action crime thriller film, directed by Ruben Fleischer. The plot is set in 1949 and revolves around merciless gangster Mickey Cohen, who rules Los Angeles with a firm grip and gains wealth through a variety of illegal activities. In the meantime, Cohen plans to grow his criminal operation and has a legion of professional gunmen at his command, as well as politicians and police officers on his side, making him more dominant and highly dangerous enough to terrify even the fiercest policemen. That is, until two Los Angeles Police Department officers, John O'Mara and Jerry Wooters, decide to form a private team to expose Cohen, bring him to prison, and restore peace and order to the city. The story starts out weak but evolves and becomes surprisingly entertaining, thanks to the outstanding cast and their performances. For those who like action movies, the movie is a ton of fun. Overall, if we consider the action first and the storyline second, it is a really enjoyable and satisfying thriller, packed with some fantastic action sequences that is well worth seeing. Number 7. Rambo, Last Blood, I imagine that every fan of action films has probably seen some of the films in this franchise. If not, don't worry, you can still enjoy this one. It is the fifth entry in the Rambo franchise and a follow-up to the 2008 film. The story follows former military soldier John Rambo as he makes new friends and forms a unique family with Maria and her young granddaughter Gabriella while trying to find peace and managing horses on a farm in Arizona. The action begins when a ruthless criminal organization abducts Gabriella, leading Rambo to venture on a violent mission to retrieve her and kill those involved. Even if you haven't seen any of the other Rambo movies, you can still watch this one for the action. After that, you might revisit earlier films and connect the dots as you see them. In conclusion, Sylvester Stallone is the biggest and only reason to watch this film. I've been a fan of his work ever since I saw the first Rambo movie, and you should also check out his action-packed Expendables film series, it's insane. Number 6. Deliver Us From Evil. It is a 2020 action film, directed by Hong Won Chan. 
The movie follows in Nam, who executed a mafia boss in a recent mission and is advised to hide by his authorities because the gangster's distant younger brother is looking for those responsible for his brother's killing. Nevertheless, just as In Nam was about to go for a while, he receives a text from his former girlfriend, Young Ju, appealing for rescue, and before he could do anything, he learns that Young Ju has died unexpectedly and her nine-year-old child is kidnapped. To save the girl, he must come out of hiding, but he is pursued by the mobster brother Ray, who learns about his visit and goes on a killing spree to exact revenge and sabotage the In Nam rescue operation. Despite the typical hitman final mission gone wrong element, the film story is fantastic and packed with brutal realistic action. However, I would like to remind you that this film deals with a sensitive subject which may be unsettling for some viewers. So do watch it for action, and the Squid Game star in action is worth seeing. Number 5. Old Henry. It is a western action film, directed by Patsy Ponsaroli. The plot revolves around a farmer who helps a wounded person carrying a backpack of money. The injured person claimed to be a cop who was attacked by criminals. However, when a gang arrives for the bag, Henry is forced to make a decision regarding whom to believe while fighting an assault on his home. With no other option, he chose to use his shooting skill, which amazes everyone, putting his background into question. Don't judge this movie by its story, although the plot may seem predictable, it contains a lot of surprises and raw action, just like old school action films. It is easily one of the most underrated and must-see films for people who enjoy slow burn action movies. Number 4. The Raid 2. It is an action thriller film, directed by Gareth Evans. If you've seen The Raid 1, you've undoubtedly grown to love these two films. To put it simply, the two films contain some of the best hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes you will see in any action film. The story takes place after the first film's deadly battle with fearsome criminals, where Rama survives and believes he can return to his ordinary routine. However, when his family is in danger, he is left with no alternative but to infiltrate the Jakarta underworld with the aim of taking down the organization and exposing the corruption within his law enforcement agency. To succeed in his task, he must persuade Yuko, the son of a well-known gang boss, to join the cartel and put a stop to the entire corrupt system. The story is dark and jam-packed with martial arts fight scenes, and at times, the fights feel so realistic, making this film wilder than the usual action film. The film offers a strong plot in addition to action, which is a rare combination for a pure action movie. Number 3. The Old Guard. It is an action fantasy film, based on the comic book of the same name. The plot revolves around a clan of ancient immortals that can regenerate themselves. To avoid being noticed, they prefer to work as soldiers and conceal themselves in plain sight. However, when one of their client offers them a new assignment, something terrible happens, revealing their power and attracting the attention of a few dishonest people who want to duplicate their skills for their own evil purposes. After their identity has been revealed, the group must locate and eliminate the danger in order to preserve their existence. Among the ocean of standard action flicks, this film is like a breath of fresh air. It's not flawless, and there are unexplained mysteries about their powers, but there are unexpected twists, and the insane action with terrific background music is absolutely amazing. The good news is that the second installment is coming on Netflix, so we might find some answers there. If you want to witness something new in the action genre, do not miss this one. Number 2. The Great Battle. It is a historical epic action film, directed by Kim Kwang Sik. The story takes place in 645 AD, when King Lee Shimon enters the Goguryeo Empire with his enormous Tang troops, and the Goguryeo army commanded by Yin Gisaman is frequently defeated. As a result, Yin Gisaman makes the decision to withdraw to Pyongyang Fort, the Goguryeo Kingdom's capital and gives the order to assassinate Yang Man Chun, the ruler of Ansi Fortress, for refusing to join them in war against the Tang armies. Meanwhile, Li Shimin's next objective is the fort at Ansi, which is located on the Tang forces' route to Pyongyang. The movie recounts the story of the heroic 88-day fight that Yang Manchin and his Goguryeo troops fought to protect Ansi Castle from 500,000 Tang Dynasty invaders. The film has enormous mind-blowing battle sequences that will shock you with their massive scale. The film's length makes it feel a little stretched out, but aside from that, it is an outstanding and immensely entertaining epic war drama with magnificent fight scenes and cinematography. Number 1. Alita, Battle Angel. It is a cyberpunk action film, based on the manga series, Gun, by Yukito Kashiro. 
The film takes place in the very far future and tells the story of a deserted android named Alita, who is recovered in a junkyard by Ido, a kind scientist, who brings her to his facility where he is able to fix and restore her. Unfortunately, she seems to have no knowledge of her identity or way back home, and it is this mystery that keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire time. Meanwhile, Ido tries to shield Alita from her secret origins as she adjusts to her new life, but when the capital's lethal and treacherous authorities target Alita, Ido is forced to reveal her true identity and mission. The stunning CGI, the story, or the beyond the imagination world setting, everything about this film is fantastic. You'll be captivated by the story from the very first moment, and its epic action scenes are like icing on the cake. And also that there is a possibility that we might hear about part 2 development soon. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel, to see more videos, related to movies and series suggestions.